About six weeks ago, I woke up in three channels that had plaques getting close to a million subs across all three channels was wiped away overnight. Vice News. Justin Waller seems to have found a shoulder to cry on in Roger Stone. Here's your host, Roger Stone. Welcome back. I'm Roger Stone. And yes, you are back in the Stone Zone. One of Andrew Tate's most loyal servants, Justin Waller, a.k.a. Jay Waller, appears to have got the opportunity to jump on a podcast with a real idol, an old school grifter and absolute ghoul, Roger Stone. Our boy Justin seemed giddy and nervous with excitement. For most of his appearance, he was struggling to even look into the camera. Of course, as we know, poor Justin has fallen on hard times. Back in January, he lost his YouTube channel that he was using to recruit children into Andrew Tate's program, The Real World. He'd been putting on a brave face for a number of months now, pretending he didn't care, but it was time for him to get it off his chest. About you, speak to us about this giant clash of values and why, why it's time for men to be men again. Yeah, absolutely. Well, first thing is you are completely right about citizenship. About six weeks ago, I woke up in three channels that had plaques getting close to a million subs across all three channels was wiped away overnight. Vice News drops an article the same day telling the world that it was because they got in touch with YouTube and YouTube took me down. Since then, we've appealed we haven't been able to get in touch with YouTube at all. They wanted to cut my message off along with Tate's. And so here we are talking on Rumble, on X, anywhere they'll allow voices that want to speak truth to talk. We- For those that may be new to the channel, the Vice article that Justin speaks of was really a series of articles by a journalist named Tim Hume. I collaborated with Tim on these articles as I've been campaigning against Andrew Tate's program, The Real World, since July last year and collecting evidence of what I believe to be an illegal pyramid scheme and cult that exploits boys as young as 12 years old on a pretty massive scale. This series of articles from Tim exposing this resulted in the real world apps being removed from the Apple and Google Play stores, YouTube doing a massive purge on the real world recruitment videos and channels, deleting billions worth of views and videos, and eventually Justin's channels were nuked as a result of this. Poor old Justin is relegated to recruiting children on Telegram and a pretty dead Rumble channel. Anyway, enough of that. Let's go back to Jay Waller being a greasy old hypocrite. Many men, if they could just get up, go to work, have a job where they could support a wife and some children, this world would be a lot better place, particularly America, in a world full of, let's face it, households that have mostly single mothers. Marriage is failing in a lot of ways, and I think a lot of that has to do with when we went off the gold standard. And the average- These people are absolute parodies. What a clown. Justin is here longing for a world where men can get up, go to work, and support a wife and children. And he has the nerve to complain about a world full of households that mostly have single mothers. The messaging that we've seen from these guys for years now and was somewhat brought to the attention of the mainstream just this week with Andrew's recent unhinged tweet, is that men should be an absolute bunch of filthy degenerates, go out and impregnate as many women as possible, to the extent that it could only possibly result in mass single mothers and abandoned children. Wow. We live in a world today where, you know, a young lady that maybe shows her behind on OnlyFans can make more money than the man that paved the road for you to get to where you're going. And I think that's a sad thing, but I do think that's going to change in time. Just the most ridiculous hypocrite you will ever see. The amount of times I've seen this guy whining about how girls can put their ass on Instagram or OnlyFans and make more money than the guy laying the road, blah, blah, blah. Yet his mates are very likely going to go to prison for a very long time for trafficking women into OnlyFans work. And just to make Justin even more of a hypocritical tool, he himself features in the leaked War Room group chat, collaborating with Tristan and Sterling Cooper on bringing women into their OnlyFans management business. 
So our boy probably doesn't have a leg to stand on when it comes to whining about OnlyFans girls. Uh, Justin, uh, is a college education today necessary? Is it even desirable? No, the only thing that happens in colleges today is indoctrination. They go in there with their agendas. They learn from professors that have never owned a business most of the time. And that's the thing about the real world. I don't mean to plug this. Don't you? But, but let me just put the two against one another for a second. You go to college, you have an agenda shoved down your throat by a liberal professor that makes you hate everybody around you, makes you not believe in your country. Or you go into the real world, learn a real skill from a real business owner that's a millionaire in that business in real time. There's not... I've asked this on other videos before and got no response, but I'll ask again. Can any of you Tate fans or the real world boys give any receipts or evidence to confirm that the real world professors are millionaires or experts in their field qualified to teach? Or is it gonna be a whole lot more, trust me bro? There's not a greater campus in the world for people. And I think that's why Tate's being attacked. I think that's why my channel got taken down from YouTube is because we're getting in the pockets of some large colleges. So no, I don't think college is the best route to go. I think you should go one of two routes. Either you should go in a campus like the real world, learn how to create value in the ecosystem of the online economy, or you should follow more, more of the things that I'm teaching on construction in real estate, but either way. Oh, I love this chestnut. Andrew Tate's alleged pyramid scheme cult is gonna put Harvard and Yale out of business. This online platform that has the major universities scared seems to be in almost a constant state of broken. People not being able to process payments, not even being able to log in. This threat to traditional education is an absolute shambles. Okay, now back to what we're really here for. Troy Smith, whoever that is, invites Justin to do some more crying about losing his YouTube channels. Is there anything in particular that sticks out to you as, oh, that's why I got canceled, that, for exactly that reason? Is there like one big reason that you could give us why you think they came after you so hard? Yeah, absolutely, Troy. That's a great question. Actually, Vice News said it flat out. They told the world that Andrew and I were manipulating young men into joining our online platform. Period. The end. Yeah, Justin. Period. The end. Whatever you do. Please don't actually look at the articles and discover that Justin is blatantly lying. What they and we said that we believe Justin and the Tates were doing was recruiting countless kids between 12 and 18 years old into what we believe is an illegal pyramid scheme and cult environment, encouraging these kids to isolate themselves from their friends and family, cut themselves off from the outside world, and work themselves for extreme hours, even 16 plus hours a day, all in the name of their leader. So our mate Justin obviously is simplifying the hell out of it, and the fact that he still seems so shocked about losing his YouTube channels just shows how detached from reality he is. Uh, like me, uh, you are a friend and admirer of Andrew and Justin, uh, trust in Tate. It seems to me that their great crime seems to be preaching self-responsibility, uh, ingenuity, physical fitness, sobriety, discipline, devotion to God, hard work. And for sure, Roger. Oh, wait, no. There's also rape, human trafficking in continuous form, forming an organized criminal group. There's likely upcoming charges in a separate investigation for trafficking minors into prostitution, money laundering, more human trafficking, influencing victims' statements, among others. You were close though, Roger, you clown. And so as they prove that they're not willing to go away, that they're going to stand for truth, they're going to stand for what's right, the attacks come heavier and heavier from different places. They were just recently taken in by DCOT and asked by the UK to extradite them, which DCOT declined. And... Justin really thinks he can tell any ridiculous lie and no one will bother to look it up. In case anyone watching this isn't aware, yes, the UK asked Romania to extradite the Tate brothers, but the extradition was approved. Andrew and Tristan Tate 
once Romania is done with them, including any trials or prison sentence, will be transported to the UK to face their charges there. The Tate brothers are fucked. And the fact that Justin is just lying to everyone about this is so embarrassing. Seek them out. Uh, I'm not an attorney, but the way I read this is that they couldn't successfully fabricate the charges of sex trafficking that they tried to hook up uh, in Romania. So they sought to do so in the UK. Uh, and well, of, this course, of course they couldn't. You know, if you go into Andrew's house, there's over 20 cameras all over that property, CCTV level. If they wanted the truth, they would just ask for those cameras and the footage. You could have gave it to them. There, there's camera footage for the last three years, four years, five years in that house. So if they wanted to know the truth, they, they would have come out with it. Yeah. Just embarrassing, ridiculous lying. It's like he's not even trying anymore. There is, in fact, a lot of CCTV footage in evidence for the Tate brothers' case in Romania. It has only hurt the Tates. Regardless of what their PR goons say, the camera footage shows that the women's movement was restricted, and the footage that clowns like Sully Ahmed show, saying that the women were free to leave, actually shows that the women were only allowed to leave with Luana and Georgiana, the Tates' muscle. This interview was rough. Justin Waller is still a shell of his former self. Just a bumbling, nervous wreck. Marriage is failing in a lot of ways, and I think a lot of that has to do with when we went off the gold standard. Maybe one of these days, he'll put on his big boy pants and accept that this is all he's doing. <laughs>